Hey, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeves here, your old composer at the Decomposer Lounge, dissecting your favorite tracks suggested by you to me. Cult of Luna, Three Bridges. I have been getting Cult of Luna, and Three Bridges is one of about four tracks that some people have been suggesting to me. Uh, this week's been really super cool, isn't it? I've really kind of drifted off. I guess I did uh, tech metal and... Uh, some other kinds of what I, I'm finding out from the comments are non-mainstream. So a lot of people going, yay, you're not doing mainstream. So I, I want to thank you guys, though, because I know you hang in here for the journey. And that maybe I hit one of those non-mainstream pearls that you guys are waiting for me to do. Remember, this is a journey for you and I because I'm bobo about the genres. I learned a little bit with some channels out there like the, the, the punk rock MBI guy, NBA guy. His name is Finn or something. So I'm, I'm learning, I'm getting it, but I'm still miles off because I know this is a lifelong dedication of understanding metal in the subgenres. I don't think I'll ever wrap my head around, but the one thing I can do is listen to it and give you my thoughts. So let's do this. Cult of Luna, Three Bridges. This looks like it's going to be a long track. Thank you for buying me a cup of coffee. For those of you who know that these videos do not monetize my channel, so I do this for the love of music. Also, uh, the link below for the coffee, link below for the headsets, link below for Cult of Luna, Spotify, and check out my Patreon too, if just in case maybe you want to buy me a cup of coffee, but you're going, I don't know about the coffee, but maybe I'll go hang out with uh, Jeebs for a month over at Patreon. You can at least click the link and see if there's anything there that's worth your while for a month. All right, so I figure now that I've made this officially probably well into a 15 to 18 minute video by that long intro, let's do this. Cult of Luna, Three Bridges. All right. top of my head I love that 6-8 kind of feeling um, da, 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 da. you know I don't hear a lot of that in this I haven't heard a lot of it uh, in my short journey here in metal um, in really super heavy heavy metal like this I don't know exactly what the name of the subgenre of this band or that particular song is and because this is the first time I'm listening to them I don't know if this is their through uh, style throughout the rest of uh, their projects. So tell me, what is that subgenre? Um, nonetheless, I, I love that, that da, 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 da. Well, obviously an octave higher with the guitars. It kind of sounded to me like, like really dark, heavy, just like hardcore church bells. You know, it was like what you might hear in really dark, essent church bells. Like it would be a really super creative thing to do, like in a movie or something. 
to use that sound and stuff and especially the percussive sound that they decided to use in tweaking the engineering and stuff with the um, uh, percussive arrangement they have going out I'm pretty sure it's most likely them you know him playing his drums but you know they they tricked it out they probably put they probably you know sent the signal through some kind of uh, overdrive or something like that to get that really super cool sound gets us into this and then keeps us in there that's what I love about it that's what I you know songs that are longer and they take the opportunity to get you into you know just this full groove and stuff and they let you sit and rinse in it and stuff and then even when the the power of the uh, vocalist came in they really just they didn't out trick you with anything there was a couple little cool nuance things that they did they kind of like stop check little rah, ah, da, da, da. and then there was another slight guitar melodic thing that happened to the left side for a moment and then the uh, performance came in with the uh, vocals which once again this was that week and uh, as I learned more and more about um, you know metal and, and the growling and the screaming and or, or all the other alternative forms of performance that vocalists can go through once again this is just one of those really super intense really low growl powerful things that uh, it's mesmerizing to me it really is at first I was like mm, when I first heard it with ginger and started to get used to it and then now getting uh, more involved in the passion if you would of metal and the different subgenres and the performances of different subgenres I'm like wow now now I can have an appreciation and I'm building an appreciation for that uh, uh, part of uh, performance it is it is a learned uh, appreciation too because at first I was a little like mm, I don't know how I feel about that now I know why it's done and where it fits okay let's keep going wall of sound I mean they have not let up with that power uh, that power playing of just hitting the chords you know in the rhythmic arrangement letting it ring out though there's no muting going on there each one of those are tied notes that are just being you know the whole wall of sound and I can't quite detect in it because there's so much power like you've heard me say this before and actually I I didn't coin it but you know, this just guitar wall of power happening. There is, you know, obviously some kind of post effects that's giving it this longer, darker ambient vibe. 
And that's what this really feels like. This feels like a gigantic, like, fiery abyss, you know, um, kind of journey. Like, you're just falling and falling and falling and falling. And But it's just very, um, very drawn out. And that's done by virtue of holding those notes all the way across and then rinsing in it with the reverb and stuff. Something else is they, they swing a little back into a 4-4, four, four, and then they went back into 6-8. I'm trying to listen to maybe it was 4-4 four, four at the beginning, and they just did some um, poly or some syncopation or something, but I don't know, you guys uh, maybe help me with that, that they did start out with 6-8, and then went into 4-4, four, four, and then back into 6-8. Um, so anyhow, I just wanted to stop and just kind of rinse on the fact that they have not stopped since I started just these rah, rah, I mean, it's just a, content, a continual just shove, you know, kind of thing. All right, here we go. Briefly, I also want to kind of bring out the thoughts of the fact that the EQing on the car guitars are very bold and more bottom boomy. You know, like they scraped off the high, you know, like the 6 and 7K kind of a thing, and they really kind of focused in on the boominess of it. I can't tell whether or not there's, um, you know, specific elements on how, when the bass is coming in and out, especially in that last arrangement where you can hear it really thicken the bottom end, and when I say thick in the bottom end, it's also a very pure bottom end sound, sound to me. There's no muddy and fighting going on in there. I can really hear it. It's, it's, as dark and harsh as this is, I can, I can hear the precision of the lower end the EQ. I know that might sound a little weird, but it's really punchy and really bold, and it's not really muddy, and I think that's a really important part of what it is in this overall feeling that I'm getting in this performance. Funny enough, I spoke too soon, they did do some of that muting work as they just came through here. Chunk, 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 chunk. You know, they go ahead and they, they chunk chug it, you know, a little bit there. So, but still, just by virtue of the fact that it's not tailed off and it's not, you know, purpose, purposefully uh, assisted with the muting, if you would, sometimes uh, in post uh, work, it still carries just its heaviness. Now, now they finally did go chunk, 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 you know, so.
I like those pullback fades, you know, when they've, when they've decided to hang out on a note and then they're obviously fading and stuff, but you can hear still some of the sizzle of the amp that's going on, a little bit of the amp noise that's going on. Something else I want to say before I wrap this up, I did hear early on what I thought were kind of synth pads, very high glassy pads that were way in the back, way in the back, but, but assisting in this long, heavy, dark sound. Uh, I did hear some melodies that were swimming in the back and I couldn't figure out whether or not, you know, they could be guitar swelling works and overdubs and stuff. But then on this last passage, uh, when I heard it sounded like little glockenspiel bells, ding, ding, you saw me doing this and stuff like that. Then obviously, I don't know if it's part of the band. Uh, please tell me if they have a keyboard player in this or uh, if it was the overdubs. Being this was my very first song of Cult of Luna and I'm pretty sure now that I've opened up Pandora's box, you guys will be giving me more to listen to. Anyhow, I want to thank you guys for suggesting this to me. I want to thank all of you who have been hanging in there, you know, through the different, uh, be it mainstream, not mainstream, genre shifts and stuff. It's just what I do on my channel. I'm not chasing subs. I'm not chasing numbers. I'm not trying to chase the best and the biggest. I'm just trying to... Uh, you know, do what I can with the suggestions you send in, and then every now and then I just decide to pull one out of the air, and and uh, you know I don't know what genres I'm. I've done sn I've done Snarky Puppy, I've done you know Radiohead and stuff. So, as a matter of fact, next week I'm going to do uh, Radiohead and a couple of other bands. I'm going to kind of bring bring a little bit of that back into the channel. Anyhow, thank you guys so much. Listen, have yourself a great weekend. It's a little kind of mental out there right now. Be safe, be cool, chill out. It's all good. Take one minute, stare at a cloud, watch it drift by, and that'll resettle you. It'll recenter you, I promise. I know, I just went woo-woo on your ass, didn't I? <laughs> All right, guys, take care of yourself. Have a great weekend. Aloha.